Hi, hello and good morning. My name is Anna and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I am a first year English student at Clare College, Cambridge. With the national lockdown in the UK, Cambridge put out that they didn't want any students returning to university accommodation unless it was within the government's guidelines. The government's guidelines are very restrictive um, in terms of who can return and who cannot. Last term I decided what was best for me was to try and do time from home. I thought that was the safest option. However, at this point I have been home for almost five months. I really struggled doing term at home last term and I, as I think a lot of people have. So I have been accepted to go back to university this term. The way that um, my college does accommodation is that um, over Christmas break they normally rent out our rooms for like conferences calls and things so we have to like entirely empty our room um, and bring it all back. So I have had my entire room's worth of stuff here. Um, some of it is in storage in Cambridge because I paid for storage. So when I say I'm moving back to college, it's really like I'm moving everything back to college. So I thought I would bring you along with me as I go back. Um, I'm really excited to go back. I think it's going to be good for me, but equally I'm very nervous for a lot of the same reasons that I decided to stay home last term there's still things I'm kind of worried about. I'm more anxious now than I was when I first moved to Cambridge. I feel like I had a long time to prepare um, for the first term and it was kind of really exciting and new. Whereas this term, I literally, I found out that I could go back literally a couple of days ago. So I've had zero time to prepare to go back. Today, I have to pack everything up because like I said, I've had only a couple of days to prepare. Um, so I'm going to pack everything today and then I head off at 9am tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all doing well and hopefully the government are going to give us some better guidance soon. Some hope at the end of the tunnel for uni students. So I spent most of today packing up all of the things I needed to take back with me, so that's clothes, things I brought back so I could use at home, books for next term. I'm quite lucky in that I managed to find some storage space in Cambridge that I paid for, so quite a lot of the things that I need are still there. I'd say half the things I have are there and half of them I am now packing to take with me. One tip I would really recommend when packing for uni is to vacuum pack, it saves so much space. So I've got all of my clothes and like blankets and things vacuum packed. and I have been up since about half five, six o'clock, a nervous wreck, but it is now about half eight um, and my boyfriend is gonna be coming and picking me up soon and we'll be heading off to Cambridge. <laughs>
appreciate that I already did a room tour in my first ever moving to Cambridge vlog which I will link down below but I just thought this might be really helpful to show people what the rooms are like in case you're looking to apply to Clare College so this is what most of the rooms in Memorial Court look like so we get this lounge slash study area and then we have a bedroom with an ensuite and we also share gyps with a couple of other people and mine has two stoves a microwave and a kettle none of the kitchens in Memorial Court have any ovens. Something else I would recommend is getting someone to drive you out to do a big shop because it's hard to carry tins all around town. I also find that the local Sainsbury's is kind of limited in some of the things they've got. We ended up getting to Cambridge at about like quarter to one-ish. We unpacked everything from the car and then we went up to the loft and unpacked everything from up there which was a bit of a challenge with only the two of us especially because i have a fridge as you can see in the background then we went to sainsbury's and we got lost so many times getting there and so many times getting back so it's now about five and we've only just got back from sainsbury's i'm gonna start unpacking i've put everything that i got from sainsbury's in the fridge but i literally have my entire room to unpack still <laughs> Some of the changes that I made to my decor this time was that I got this rug from my floor because I always feel like my lounge is a little bit big when it's just me on my own and then I also turn this chest of drawers into a sort of sofa area. So once we finally finished unpacking, which was much quicker with the two of us, we got a Franco Manca pizza because they have some really good vegan and gluten free options. And then we decided to go on a walk and golden hour is my favourite time in Cambridge because it makes the buildings look so beautiful. And we ended up on Castle Mound watching the sunset, which was really nice, but I felt like a little tour guide all evening. <laughs> but we just got back from a walk and we went to Sainsbury's while we were out and while in there someone came up to me because they recognized from the articles I'd written it was really cute um, and it was really funny to like have someone recognize me um, it was because of my tote bag so apparently my tote bag is iconic now but I will link the article that they were talking about below because it's actually about YouTube Thankfully, I have no work to do in the first couple of days that I'm back because it's technically still the Easter break. So we decided to go all around the city on this day and it felt so good to be back. It really reminded me why I love this place so much. And we just walked everywhere and did anything we wanted to do. And we ended up trying some foods here that I've actually never had before. So it was really nice. And I just, I got to see the city through kind of a tourist perspective and it was just lovely.
In the evening, we took another trip out to Castle Mound with some of my friends that got back today and it was so lovely to see them again and it was just generally a really nice evening. I also love that the Clare pathway has got these beautiful flowers out for spring. The city at the moment is just beautiful. We only had a couple of hours this morning before my boyfriend had to leave to go to Manchester. It's been so nice having him here with me to help me get settled in. The weather was so nice out that we decided to get a coffee and go for a walk. And we saw my favorite things, the cows. And then we walked around the Paradise Nature Reserve, which is a really nice spot in the center of the city. And you just wouldn't imagine for it to be in a city. My boyfriend just left, he's on his way up to Manchester University now and honestly I think it's only just hit me that I'm here because obviously he's been here the whole time and we've had such an amazing weekend but it's not really been like oh I'm back at uni I've moved back in it's sort of been like a little mini break and I've really loved it but it's not quite been the same I've just had a bit of a wobble <laughs> a bit of a moment so I decided to come and sit out in a park because it's so lovely outside and I just felt lonely in my room so I've got some vegan chocolate and I've got one of my course books and I'm going to sit and read for a bit and see if that calms me down but I just wanted to say that it's like completely normal to have nerves about being at uni and about living on your own especially if you've spent a term at home it's like moving to the place all over again and ultimately like in total I've only spent about 10 weeks in Cambridge so I'm still trying to get used to the city it's completely okay to be anxious still so yeah so all I'm going to do for the rest of the day is do some reading and you know chill and do whatever I feel like doing and take it at my own pace but I'm honestly I'm so grateful to be back and it's been amazing to see my friends again and to be here again it feels like I'm an actual Cambridge student now rather than doing the work at home when I kind of felt sort of out of the bubble but it feels so nice to be back in the city so I'm very grateful and I'm looking forward to this term. Hopefully I'll be getting some more Cambridge videos coming your way very soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked watching it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here. Bye.